What up, y'all? This is She Gets It. My name is Shan Woofle. Season 7, okay? What's real anyway? Hmm. Especially these days. I want to talk about prisoners by titles. When I say prisoners by titles, I'm talking about... Let's, let's reel y'all back in. Let's reel y'all back in about me. In my early 20s, titles were everything. Oh my god, that's my boyfriend. Oh my god, that's my girlfriend. Oh my god, that's my boo. Oh my god, this is, you know, this is her who I was talking about. Blah, 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 blah. It was important to me, okay? It had power. It kind of meant something to me, to me, to be able to walk up to somebody and be like, oh, this is my such and such. Oh, that's my girl. Like, I remember my early 20s, my teens, my late teens people see me and be like oh you such and such girlfriend like so you don't want my name you don't know my name and I grew to not like that so by 23 I was like oh so it's a game crave the title and get the title and you'll have like an illusion of respect that should be given but in all actuality, it's not. And I was like, oh, nah, I don't want to play that game. I want to make my own rules. Fuck a title, and here's why. Fall is coming. Fall is like my favorite time of the year. Autumn is my favorite season. So if you're looking for some merch, check your girl. Support the She Gets It podcast by getting you some merch. You know what I'm saying? You get some merch, you support, you get a little something, something out of it. You become a representative, an affiliate, or she gets a podcast. And I have sweatshirts on there, hoodies, t-shirts, whatever you need is on the She Gets It shop. Shop with Teespring. I'll go ahead and put the link up. Let's get back to the show. Okay, so this is what it is. Women and men have titles and still get respected and cheated on by a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Fiancés be cheating out here. Some fiancés be having booze on the side up until the day before their wedding and talking about this is how our relationship is going to be after I get married. Like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why are you getting married if you feel like you need to have something on the side or you need an outlet for something extra on the side? It's one thing if the man and the wife is coming to the the man and the woman is coming to you and saying, you know what, we collectively would like to have some sort of relationship with you within our marriage. That's different. But these bozos out here are portraying like their wife is the only, the only, the one and only when they out here continuously shopping like shopping for women browsing the aisles and tasting it like it's bj's and they taste in samples on the side and i don't have time husbands and wives be out here dappling and dipping and stroking and pumping and i just i'm it kind of waters down the name or the title of being someone's husband being someone's wife and it just it's just such a turn off that you can have a wife that you brag about on social media that you brag about at events and parties and barbecues that you brag about um to your cog- colleagues and you disrespect her any chance you get you in DMs you in messages you saying sending good morning to Females that can't do shit for you, don't want to do shit for you. You asking for news, like, you doing the most. You doing the most when you claim your relationship is A1. And that's the type of shit I hate. And people like that keep me single longer. And I'm not saying that every marriage this is going on. I'm not saying every relationship this is going on. But for the most part, every time... I get a window into something that looks great and is not great. It makes me not even want to dapple into that at all.
So for me, even when you meet me, I'm Shan. When we go out together, I'm still Shan. If we're fucking, I'm still Shan. Don't title me your girlfriend. Don't title me your homegirl. Don't title me um, someone you're dating. You don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. That's pointless. If, if, if you're introducing me to your friends and family, hi. I just want y'all to meet Shan. This is Shan. This is my friend Shan. And that's if we're friends. If we're not friends and we're just meeting each other, this is Shan. Okay? Even if we share a child together, I am Shan. That is the mother to my daughter. Okay? That's my daughter's mom. Okay? Shan. Okay? I'll take a mom title. I don't have no problem with that because I'm a mom. That has nothing to do with a man. I'm a mom, okay? Yes, there are biological mothers who push out kids out of their vaginas, but they do not mother them, okay? Not everybody can have that title. Um, there is no BM. There's I'm not nobody's BM. I'm not your baby mama. I hate that word. Don't call me that word, okay? I'm not an ex. Okay, don't call me that. I'm I'm Shan. I'm just Shan, okay? If we're in a relationship, if we're in a relationship, it's Shan, okay? We've been thugging for X amount of years. My name is Shan. I'm too grown to be somebody's girlfriend. You too grown to be my boyfriend, so I will not take that title, okay? Come again. I'm not your girlfriend, I'm too grown to be somebody's girlfriend. I feel like once you pass 28, you can no longer be somebody's girlfriend. That is a man of your choosing. That is your person. Your person is not a bad thing. I I don't mind somebody being like, that's my person. That's Shan. Okay? But I will not be anybody's girlfriend um, at the age of 33 and going. No, sir. No, ma'am. If we're engaged... Hi, I'm Shan, his fiance. I mean, that's fine because this man put a ring on it. Um, he too needs to wear a ring as if he's engaged. Like, I'm not going to be the only one wearing a ring because women are still going to approach you thinking you're a single man because you there's nothing proven that you're a fiance. So we both going to have rings if they're going to be rings. Okay? If you just want me to be your fiance and there's no rings and you want to play... Um, battle of the sexes every day and 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 denying women access and you want me to de- deny men access cool we can do that but don't bring me no ring if you ain't trying to wear a ring too okay that's not um if we're married i'm shan the only person who i expect wife respect from is my husband okay Some people see a ring and they see a challenge. Let me say that again. Some people will see a ring on a man or a woman and they see a challenge. They want to see how strong their willpower is. They want to test the waters, okay? And you know it's a human thing, okay? Who is supposed to stand up in that respect of that marriage? That man or that woman? Who is supposed to remind these single people out here that want to play games and think uh, this is battle of the sexes that you're married? You are. If you are married, you're the one that's supposed to carry that respect. You're the one that's supposed to be honoring that marriage, that union. Okay? Not single people. Okay? Single people go and shoot their shot if they want to shoot their shot. If you don't want to get shot, you need to be blocking. Blocking, blacking, blacking. All right, I will carry myself as a wife in a wife-like fashion when I'm a wife. I'm not doing wife-like things for no single man. On any legal document in the world, you are single until you are married, okay? Fiance or not, my person or not, you are single until you are married. If your fiance gets in a car accident today, and you go to the hospital. They're not going to ask you, are you family? 
they're not going to, well, they are going to ask you, are you family? They're going to ask you, is that your husband or is that your wife? And if you're a fiance, you have to say no to all of them things because you're not blood related and you are not married yet. You are a fiance. You are in the middle of the process. Okay, you are transitioning into hopefully to become. Therefore, you cannot make no medical decisions on that man or that woman's life. If they die and they pass away, they owe you nothing. You get nothing. So stop giving people rights and access to levels of you that they did not deserve yet. Stop giving people treatment and satisfaction of pieces of you that they did not work and they are not having goals to become anything bigger to you yet. That's a waste of time, okay? People got to stop getting blinded by these titles. These titles today and in 2020 hold no weight because people don't respect shit. People don't respect nothing in 2020. People are walking around here faking respect, faking honor, faking loyalty. People out here have their own versions, their own definitions, their own creations of what loyalty is. And I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. Okay? I'm loyal to my children because they are still learning and I'm still grooming and I'm still teaching as I as I should. But I'm not babysitting no adult to do right by me. I can't do it. That's too much. It's too much. Okay? <laughs> Married men out here trapping and hoeing women or men on the side. And I don't got time. Okay? I don't have time. Males in relationships for decades calling an ish a situation. That's mad disrespectful. Could you imagine? You, you 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years deep in, in a relationship, you know, Problem after problem, happy happy moments after happy moments, um, dedications, um, efforts into a person, and you think it's one thing, and they out here calling you not even a relationship. They calling you a situation to somebody else. That's disrespectful. To me, the ultimate respect to a person is when they're not present. And you respect them as if they're right beside you. And you carry yourself with respect as if they're right beside you. Because you understand and you respect and you, you notice the dedication that they give you. So you feel like they deserve X, Y, and Z. They've been putting in the work. They've been putting in the time. They've been pouring into you so they deserve X, Y, and Z. You only disrespect people that you feel like haven't been doing what they should be doing at a certain standard of your choosing. But if somebody is doing what you feel like they should be doing at a good standard of your choosing, especially with efforts and time and patience, and you disrespect them, what does that say about you? What does that say about you? Especially if they're taking care of your family. Especially if they're taking care of kids that you share. What does that say about you? If people really took the time to look at themselves and, and, and say, would I be putting up with my bullshit? Would I be putting up with my bullshit at this very moment right now? Would I claim me as X, Y, and Z? A lot of y'all will honestly be like, hell no. Nah. So why, why put so much power into a title that you're not respecting? And that's my thing. That's why I'm so against titles unless it's marriage and unless it's me being a mother and unless it's ownership. If it ain't those three things, you can keep it. Keep it. Okay? You're not going to fog my judgment. You're not going to cloud my goals and my thinking and my positions. Women are out here finessing men for dates and food. 
telling a man what he need to have in order to have her attention, her presence. Girl, if he need to have X, Y, and Z for you, why can't you get it for yourself? If you such a boss, why can't you get it for yourself? And you will have women that say, I can get it for myself, but I don't I don't needlessly have to if he if he this if he that girl. Have a, have a seat. Have a seat. Cause a lot of y'all bags are just rented. A lot of y'all um luxury items are in rotation between friends. A lot of your leather goods are empty. A lot of y'all maxed out on y'all credit cards. Okay? So just be easy. Be easy. There are men out here who are only in relationships when that woman is around. When you leave, it's straight bachelor life. Okay? Okay? There are men that uh, claim their sexual preferences strictly um, for women. And they're doing other things on the weekends. Other things on particular days. Oh, it's just this. Or it's just that. Or you just need to live in your truth. Like, there's nothing wrong with whatever sexual preference you have. But live in your truth. Let let it be known that this is what it is. Give people the opportunity to make a choice if this is the relationship that they want. If this is the um, sexual preference that they're okay with their person having while they enjoy their energy also. That's the issue. The, the issue is a lot of people don't give their quote-unquote significant other the opportunity to have the moment and the chance and the time to choose if what they're doing they're okay with a lot of y'all out here sharing everybody is being shared at one particular time or another everybody is being shared maybe some people may take a few months break and and dapple with with other people some people dapple with other people and is is in a quote unquote marriage some people dapple with other people and uh is in a great relationship they have a good bond what's a good bond if you can't share the truth with each other what's a good bond if all all that matters is the fact that you have a good time with this person and you never show them a shitty day that you might have you can never share with them uh, when times is not going good when money is not rolling in What's the point? What's the point of it if the only time I'm happy when I'm around you is when we can go out on expensive trips and uh expensive dinners and I I'm I'm just too I'm too this to to have a drink and 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 a and a, a lunch with you at a park. It's the quality of time with somebody. It's the respectability of a person. That makes me want to stick around. It's never been what he has in his pockets or his bank account. What he can buy me. Where he can take me. What can you pour into me though? What do you have that's of value? Are you consistent? Do you live in your truth? It's the sexiest thing to be with somebody who can tell you straight regardless of what your feelings are about what they're going to say and it be legitly just that i don't have to ask anybody if you're telling the truth i don't have to go around your back to see if you're telling the truth i don't have to snoop around i ain't never went through a phone there's no point in going through a phone the first moment you feel like you should go through a phone that's when you know something's wrong between you and that person where you feel like their word is not worth it enough. Now I need to go through something to see if what's in here is matching their word. You're already second-guessing y'all y'all relationship because you feel like you need to go in something without them being around. You need to verify what's coming out of their mouth. 
you already have doubts. You already have doubts. And people feel lies before they hear them. When you vibrate on a high level, when you're at peace within yourself, you feel a lie before you hear it. In this digital world, you feel a vibe from somebody that's off. Whether it's from insecurities, whether it's from something's not adding up, whether it's from, oh, they're giving me a lot of information up front that I didn't ask for, wonder why they're doing that. You're going to feel it before they text it to you. Some people just text you things to cover up loopholes before they become loopholes. Some people text you um, that they hear the WID just to verify where you're at so they don't go around that area. So just be easy and live in your truth. Live in your truth and be happy. If you don't want to be in a an, an, a monogamous relationship, let a person know, I don't want to be in a monogamous relationship. If you just want to have a good time and not have any ties to each other, let them know, I just want to have a good time and not have any ties to anybody. Don't be parking your dick and pussies out here. That's not what's up. And some people you met in life and you dealt with and you've been in relationships with, they just wanted to fuck, but they didn't have the balls to say so. Some of y'all relationships been going on for years too long when it shouldn't have. And both of y'all know it shouldn't have. Y'all just holding on because you don't want to look stupid because you, you wasted time. Some of y'all wasting y'all happy years being with someone and being somewhere you really don't want to be for the sake of what shit look like. And one day it's really going to show. So, you know, just remember, bitter people do tasteless things. Don't let that be you. And don't be that for somebody else. Titles are pointless if they're not respected, if it's not honored, and if it's not truth. So don't give me no title if it's not truth. I only like three titles. Ownership, being a mother, because I am that. I do mother, I do teach, I do guide, and being a wife. All that other shit, you could keep it. I'm just sharing. <laughs> I'm just sharing. Okay? Peace.